everybody, welcome back to my channel and today's tutorial is a DIY specialty Valentine's candle. I love doing these different types of sands and stone mixtures with candles because I love the way that they turn out and they're always very unique. This one is going to be specifically Valentine's themed. This one is mix and matchable and this one might be a little bit more pricey because of this. This is about a $15 vase and it's completely safe to also put candles in. Do you make sure you check the sticker on the bottom before you make the purchase? So in total, this was about $15 and then this was six in total. And this is to mix and match and I'm not going to use all of it. I decided to go with a few varieties such as a cinnamon and apple, black cherry, and of course vanilla, depending on whatever colors that you want to mix and match with or the scent that you want to use for your partner's gift. There's also a few different colors. I chose white, natural, and red. And I think for this one I'm going to go with the natural sand color and the cinnamon and apple candle because I love the way that this smells and it always looks really really good when you mix it with a neutral color. So let's just hop to it. Basically, you just make sure that your big vase is clean and ready to put whatever you're going to put in it. It has to be fairly big enough so you can put almost your whole hand in. I'm only going to go with about one bag of sand, but if you want to add more sand to it, then you're more than welcome to. The reason why I chose to put just one bag is because I still want my candle a safe distance from the top so that if anything falls in, over the top of it, it won't catch fire. And there you have it guys, this is how you make a Valentine's Day themed candle holder that is unique to each person and can be mixed and matched. You can also add in other things such as little stones or seashells or anything like that to make it a little more personal for somebody. And what I love about this is that you can always take the Mod Podge trick that people use a lot on all sorts of glass and plastic and metal, and you can put something specifically onto this, such as a portrait of said person and or a coupling or a family photo, and it will work beautifully with this glass, and there's plenty of canvas on the outside to work with. So, next I will show you what it looks like when it's lit. 